Hello all, welcome to Mixed Study official YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about the Bharat Electronic Limited recruitment, which they have released the notification. And these recruitment are government authorized recruitment. There is no involvement of any contract related to the third party. And based on that, they will release the notification for the different posts of different disciplines, which they have mentioned in advertisement. So these posts are contract basis, which is direct contract from the organization itself. And there is no involvement of third party. So the going ahead with the qualification and experience, you have a degree in full time B, B Tech in Computer Science and Information Technology, Computer Science and Engineering, Electronic and Electrical, Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. And number of posts was 75 and unit of posting was Bangalore and uh, they pay around first year 30,000 30, rupees, second year 35,000 and third year was 40,000. Based on the requirement, they may extend the contract, but these are the de independence, dependency on the organization itself. So the total reservation post for the unreserved was 31 and EWS was 8, OBC was 20, SC was 11, ST was 5. And they have clearly mentioned the programming or subject in your academic curriculum such as C, C++, Java, Python is mandatory required. You have at least any of the one language in your core either from any of the engineering discipline you have. Going ahead with the eligibility criteria, you have a nationality of Indian must be citizen of India and age as per the date 1st of February 2022, your age maximum was 28 years for the general category and similarly for the reservation which they have mentioned for the OBC having NCL, 3 years of age relaxation, SCST was 5 years and PWBD was uh, 10 years of age relaxation, they have clearly mentioned in advertisement and going ahead with the educational qualification which they have mentioned earlier like you have a BB Tech in any of the discipline but you have at least one programming language either C, C++, Java, Python is mandatory because most of the engineering even though all the engineering branches having in first year of C language they do not worry about this other than that they have a few of the curriculum they do not have it even the few autonomous colleges they do not learn these things so in that situation you are not eligible to apply Going ahead with the uh, for the final year candidate, you are not eligible to apply. They have clearly mentioned that your result and other things you need to present at the time of interview. So make sure that if you have a document, then apply. Otherwise, do not apply for these positions. Going ahead with the next point for the they have pay around as per the notification. They uh, they have mentioned three pay scale for the first year, second year, third year. After that, you will also get the uh, amount of twelve thousand rupees per year for the towards exp expenses of insurance premium, medical insurance premium, along with the dresses and other charges as well. Mode of selection: They will uh, told like walk-in selection. You need to go on uh, office address which they have mentioned over here, and you will get the few rounds, and directly you will get the result over there itself. And they will call uh, like they have mentioned uh, the candidate passing the written test or shortlisted for the interview in order to merit. Performance in the written test they will call in the ratio of 1 is to 5 and the written test result will be announced and interview conducted on the same day of or subsequent day maximum on the same day they may possibility they may uh, put the interview date for the next day ba based on the scenario happening over there since the candidate can be travel plan accordingly and based on that they will have at least eligibility criteria which they were mentioned in a uh, advertisement and uh, passing marks for the general EWS OBC was 35% in written test and for the interview was 30% for the SCST and PWD. How to register? They have mentioned the Google Inform. You can directly go over there and you can register over there. If you want, I'll put the link in the description. You can directly go over there and register for yourself. There is uh, some restriction like the online registration will be open from 1st of February and closing was 9th of February, that is today. So make sure that you do not uh, forget to fill this form if you have eligibility and fill it today it's uh, today onwards because the maximum uh, time which is today at 12 pm if you do not fill this form and after uh, try to fill by tomorrow itself then you are not able to shortlist for the next round so that's why this is a walk-in selection you have a sufficient time to go with there they have mentioned that there once you submit that form you will carry the document along with the registration and other document which they have mentioned in online form and you need to go on 30 13th of February 2022 at 8.15 as per the address which they have mentioned in Bangalore you need to go over there and along with that they have mentioned few documents you need to carry these documents because these are the essential documents which is required for, for any of the organization to fulfill the requirement so I, I think you are eligible and I think you are also get the, all the points which I have mentioned over here and I think this video also helpful if you think then do a like and please subscribe this channel and share with your friends thanks for watching